I'm talking relationships Worth more than money No time for the fig or the phony Tweezy jump the gym It's so evident Link up with the game I'm talking relationships We back, man Welcome back to Relationships Worth More Than Money. I'm on the left side this time. On the right, who do I got? Uh, my name is Louie. I go by Louie. Uh, my name is Kyle. Um, yeah. Okay. L-O-O-Y-A-Y. And that's how they can find you, at Louie, L-O-O-Y-A-Y. Yes, sir. So um, I'm going to go back, man, because this is how I end up running into you. Uh, I want to say 2019, 2020, 2021. Uh, yeah. now? I think it was 20, was it two names ago, or was it three? I think it was two. It was two? Because I didn't go to the last, no, it was three. It was three, so it was 20. Yeah, because 20... I didn't go to the last one. For sure. Yeah. And we met the one before that? Yep, yep. Okay, so, so that was 2023. Uh, June? No, no, no. April. Yeah. April 2023. Two. 22? The last one was January of this year. Yeah, I didn't go to that one. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then the one before was the, 23. Yeah, yeah. And that was in April. And then the 2022 one was in June. Okay. So they've been, they've been they just, shifting yeah, the, the yeah, okay. times. Yeah, yeah. So last, so 2023. Yeah, yeah. I, last time I, I ran it to you. Yeah, yeah. And you had this dope equipment, man. Like you had, it was like, I'd never seen it before. It was a bass guitar with a MPK yep. connected, like installed into it, the right? MPK Mini. I wish I had it on me right now. Yeah. Uh, it's in it's in LA, and I'm like uh, passing it between artists who want to like demo it and mm-hmm. check it out. So I haven't held it since. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it's are you sad, are but... you the the creator of that piece of gear? Yeah, it's been it's been tried. A bunch of different times before, um, like putting MIDI elements in a guitar, or even having like a MIDI pickup on your guitar. So when you like play, it outputs MIDI. Yeah. Um, but this is the first one I think that has put uh, guitar and keys on a guitar. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. And that's that's when I saw it. I was like, Yo, man, this is. I got to meet you, man. I got to know who you are. Because, like, you know, that event now, for one, if people don't know, is a, uh, it's a, it's a networking, networking establishment, but at the same time, it's also introducing you to the new gear that's coming out. Right. So you get to, you know, you get to uh, try some of the gear, you get to uh, find out what new mics is out, whatever, whatever you can think of, all of this stuff that's even here, Yep. they have it there. You know yep. what I mean? So it's like, you testing out all of this equipment, and you was just sitting on like the side, like outside of the the uh, convention yep. center, yeah. and you just had that that damn bass, man. And I'm like, yo, I gotta meet this dude. And it was it was crazy because of course you know we network and we and we uh, exchange handles, but we kept in contact. You know what I mean? And I think that's the most important part. But take us back, man, to like how you even started all of this. Like, where did the music back? Did, did you have a music background? Where did it start? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, grew up in church. Uh, I played, I played drums in my church for like two years, mm-hmm. and I started to learn how to play guitar and piano. I kind of just um, my first instrument was the drums. I got a drum kit when I was ten. Yeah. I didn't really start playing it till I was like uh, later in high school, like yeah. junior year of high school. Um, Fast forward, went to college for animation and visual effects. I've always been a, an artist. And the school I went to, they taught um, music, they taught film, they taught game art, uh, like video game stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and my roommate, uh, Trip, dope artist out of Northern California, um, we went to high school together. We ended up going to college. We ended up rooming together and going to school together. Yeah. And um, he uh, he was making music all the time. He raps. He's, like, an insane producer, too. And, uh, yeah, in college, I got really into music and bought Ableton, bought the Akai, uh, what is it, the APC-40. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
that was my first time like arranging. No, 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 no. Irrelevant. Uh, yeah. So I've I've been making music pretty heavily since uh like twenty twenty. No, no, sorry. Twenty twelve. Twenty eleven. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Who? 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 How old are you? Thirty three. Thirty three. Okay. All yeah. Right. You. Thirty eight. Thirty eight. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So you was born with ninety. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so you 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 got the the background, and um, you said what was what was the name of your friend in North Northern California? Trip, T R I I Y P. His name sounds familiar. Was he was he out there? Nah, I don't think he's he been go. in. I don't think he's been doing Nam. Okay, all yeah. right, cool. And what introduced you to the to Nam? Like, how did you find out about it? I I oh, um, so in the Bay Area. At the school I used to go to, it was called Expression College. Uh, they used to have events similar to NAM that would be hosted there. Yeah. Um, and they, what is it called? Music Expo. Um, Loic, Mas- Loic, L-O-I-C, uh, shout out. He, uh, he runs uh, the Music Expo, the SF Music Expo. Okay. And he hosted it at my school, and I had always... Ever since I had been to the first event, um, followed him. Uh, Decap has done a few events there. Fire producer. Yeah, yeah. Bay Area. Shout, out, shout out to Decap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I met, met a few people there. Then uh, that was the first event I had been where like instrument makers and companies go and like just have things on display for people to try out. And it's, it's like a mini NAM. Yeah. And same thing, they'll have, like, panels where, like, decap come in and, like, open up a session and then just walk everybody through, like, his yeah. process and stuff. And, yeah, I think I found out about Nam through following Loic, and then I had never even thought about going until I built the prototype instrument, mm-hmm. and I was like, that's, that's, like, perfect for me to yeah. bring there, so. Now, do you, do you have any patents on that? I have, uh, it's protected creatively. I call okay. it a ghetto patent, yeah. but I don't have like a formal. You should uh, get it, man. You that's what everybody it. tells you me. You should get it, man. Somebody, it, somebody already tried to like take it yeah. and they weren't able to. So, and also I, I've done a, I was working on a project before the guitar. Um, it was a website and I, I had gotten like, a provisional patent, mm-hmm. and a provisional patent is like the the pre patent. Yeah, and that was like twenty four hundred, and I, uh, yeah. And if you want to, and so a provisional patent gives you a year of cushion, and so I spent all this money, and I was freaking out about. I hired a patent lawyer. Yeah, got the the patent thing done. Yeah, and I spent all this money trying to protect the idea, and I didn't have enough money to like invest in actually making it. Right. So when I started working on this, I was just like, I'm just going to put all my energy into making the product and displaying it instead right. of trying to like protect it. So now how, did, how not did that you... it's not protected yeah. at all, but that wasn't like my first and people have been telling me this since they've seen it. Like, yeah. yo, you need to, someone's going to take that. And I'm just like, you might be right, but I'm not. I I'm not gonna sp- spend that money. Yeah, but I have a. Uh, I've protected it in different ways. We might need to cut some of this out of the yeah. pot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, but I no. I I think just man, like, cause your your creative, your creative vision of what you cre- what you made is you know what I mean. It's like man, I always want to make sure that everybody get their fair share and make sure that they're they're taken care of because um but yeah when it comes out it's it's definitely gonna sell. Thanks you know man because I, mean? I, I appreciate it. I mean me I'm I'm trying to get into the guitar, learning how to play the guitar because I, I played the drums, but yeah. I played in the marching band. I never played a set. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So yeah. like marching marching band and set is totally different. What did you play? The snare. I yeah. played them all snare tenor and, and bass. It nice. just depended on what my uh my band director wanted me to play and I was the the, you know, the lead snare. So it was just like, hey, Dope. you do what you want to do. Were you obsessed with the uh, drumline when it came out? Um, 
I loved that movie. Yeah, because because in Detroit, you know, um, Detroit's most of those bands emulate the the black historical black colleges bands because that's where our our band directors normally come from. Gotcha. And, um, so like, in in my performing arts school, we was just a drum drum corps. We didn't have no other instruments, just snare, tenor, bass, cymbals, mm-hmm. and flag twirlers. That was it. And we would like blow the other drummers out the roof, like you know what I'm saying, just nice. how loud we were, and, and you know what I mean, uh, efficient, and, um, you know, doing all of the different rudiments and things of that nature. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man. Um, what was the school called? Area E Academy. Area shout E. Out, shout out to Area E Academy. It's closed now, man. Yeah, I For went sure. to a performing arts school, my elementary and middle school, and um, yeah, man, it was it was a. Uh, it was a hell of a time. Shout out to Mr. Mac too. I was about Mr. to Mac say, was who was your director? Mr. Yeah. Mac. Mr. Mac was a, a him and his brother. They both were band directors. Cool. And when I went to this uh, Christian school before I went to uh, Area E, Faith Christian Academy, his big older brother was there, and he was teaching my brother how to play the saxophone. Mm-hmm. So my brother was playing the sax, and I wanted to play the trumpet. You know what I mean? But it was yeah. too expensive. So you know what I mean? Um, I ended up going to Area E, and I was like, hey, Mr. Mac, like. You you got a you know you got a brother named uh Mr. Mac too and he was like yeah he, he he's a band director too nice uh, dope so I knew I was good you yeah. know what I mean I knew I knew he knew his stuff and um yeah but when I got to high school um my band director the band director at high school was taught by Mr. Mac so he was trying to get all of us to come and be in his band but I was like nah I want to be I, I, I want to be a band geek, you know what I mean, and I that's you. what I regret, man. Because I, I wish I did. I feel the same, dude. Stick to it, you yeah. know what I mean, because they they really taught you multiple instruments, you know what I mean. And I was like, damn. Now yeah. I'm up here trying to figure out how to play the piano. I got my theory board, you know what I mean, just to, you know my little cheat board. Yeah. Um, playing piano keys and stuff like that, and I'm like, man, if I would have stuck with it, I would have been able to play multiple instruments. But it's never too late. True. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I yeah. definitely want to get into like the guitar, the bass, um, piano, and a little bit of, you know, a little bit of the brass, you know what I mean? But other than that, man, Dope. um, how did you get here? Cause I remember you was in Cali. Yeah, yeah. How did you get here? Uh so I came out here, I I packed up all my stuff and I uh I moved out here because uh I didn't have access to the studio that uh, I was making music at. Mm-hmm. And uh yeah. So there was nothing, my living situation wouldn't have been uh, conducive to uh, the stuff I wanted to do. So yeah. my brother and my dad lived out here and I came oh, okay. out here. How about I say you got family out here? Because you just yeah. packed up and just, he's like, yo, bro, I'm, aren't you in the DMV? I was like, yeah. He was like, I'm, I'm here. I'm like, what? I what? thought you were in Cali. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, you was just in Cali. Yeah, yeah. Like, people don't just pick up and move across the, you know what I mean? Right, right. The, the states like that. But it, was, it wasn't like the, the happiest move, but yeah, I just things weren't like clicking out there. So yeah, yeah, and things felt like they were clicking more on like social media and like at Nam. And I was like, I don't, I guess I don't. Where I'm at doesn't totally matter. So yeah. um, there's there's a lot less like art stuff out here, art jobs anyway. Yeah, than there were, was in like the Bay Area. A lot of the art jobs out here are like uh, military contracting, or if you're gonna do like graphics for people, it's like you have to get like a clearance, and uh, yeah. But so that's a Dude. that's a downside. I mean, but it's, it's uh, art in Richmond too. Yeah, yeah. Richmond is big on art, man. So for you sure. gotta check out it, Richmond um, a weekend or something. Just head for down sure. there and, and see what's up. But um, yeah, man. Uh, so. You got a prototype here, right? Yeah, so the one that everybody's seen on Instagram is, it's a bass guitar, Mm -hmm. and I built that one. That's the prototype that I built because um, I don't know how to make, like, uh, circuit boards. Right. Uh, I didn't go to school for that, and there's a bunch of, like, custom parts that I would have needed to make the one that I originally designed. Mm -hmm. So um, the one everybody's seen, uh, to explain it, I'm sure we could throw like an image up or Mm -hmm. just go check out a video. Uh, It's it's the Akai MPK Mini. I 
cut it in half. If you open it up, there's two circuit boards with a, a ribbon cable in between. Mm -hmm. And I just chopped it open, split it apart, and there's enough slack that I cut a body to put the those two circuit boards in. Mm -hmm. And then I put the pickups and the strings in between them. Yeah. So that's just like a basic explanation of what it looks like. So this is the one that I designed in Blender that I am trying to build. And what's Blender? It's a th it's a free 3D software. Nice. So you can like 3D model. It's yeah. it's amazing. I they taught us uh Maya in school and I had my first my first like actual job out of college. They taught us Blender cuz it's free mm. and Blender's so sick. If if you're at all into visuals or you can edit video on there. You can uh, 3D model. You can render. You can animate. Um, really good program. Shout out Blender. Thank you for being free. Okay. Um, and anyway, so I designed the six string. So, sorry. The, the base prototype, it's only a base because the size of the MPK Mini. Right. Um, and I don't play bass that well. I play like six string guitar a little bit better, and also right. like sonically, I want to play like, I want to play more like lush, mid high range chords. Mm -hmm. I want the chords to be in that range, and then um, because of the limited area for like keys, right? I imagine you play bass with the keys. So in my mind, when I designed it, I was like, I'll play bass on the keys, I'll play the higher stuff on the guitar, and then drums. So on the pad, yeah, yeah, okay. So the prototype with the Akai, it's only a base because of the size of the Akai, and putting like a a uh, guitar neck which is smaller mm -hmm. on that big box would have looked awkward. Yeah. So it's only a base for like aesthetic purposes. Right. Um, but this is the this is the version I want to build. Um, it's a it's designed to be a six string. Yeah. It's also designed uh, to have, it's also designed to sit horizontal. So you could sit it on like your desk, like like this here. Yeah. yeah. And then okay. pick it up if you want to play it, put it back down if you just want to use it as a synth. And then nice. I should have drawn, I should have drawn the layout. So like this is keys right here. Yeah. Beat pads right here. And then uh, pickups and then a neck. And this is as far as I got. Um, I was working on this in at a different shop that I built the prototype in, mm -hmm. uh, but I had to rent space out to work on this. But uh, I thought I was really proud of the the woodwork I did on this. So um, you got you got a little. Uh, is that carpentry in it, then, right? Yeah, luthery is the word that they use for. Uh, Dang, this thing heavy. Yeah, it's African. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's it's called wenge is in the middle the the brown the yeah. dark brown and I forget the this the same piece of this the same piece of wood that I built the original with wow uh, yeah and it's a heavy wood yeah probably too heavy to but, to like if you had it on like shoulder strap or whatever yeah, yeah. I normally how how much does a, a normal guitar weigh uh, the base I built I think is it's eight or it's between eight and ten pounds, and I think, uh, like a guitar, I think a bass should shouldn't be more than like six, mm -hmm. maybe s five or six. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, man. This smooth. You put you put in some work on this, man. So this one's gonna be the six string. This is the yeah. Okay. It's a lot smaller of an instrument than the other one. It's gonna be. I haven't cut here. I haven't had access to a wood shop since I left Cali. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. So yeah, this is this is the version I'm trying to build. Um, yeah, wrist too weak for that. All right, nice and, man. Yeah. So other than that, man, what's what's uh, how you liking DC so far? The DMV. I honestly have not like ventured out. A ton. I've been to the casino. That's not MGM. MGM. Yeah, yeah that place is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I've been to a couple like uh, drawing classes in in DC. Um, I've been out here in 
seen all the museums and all the touristy spots before because I've I've been out here before. But yeah, it's cool. I like I like the weather. Um, people are chill. It's it's a lot different than than uh, I mean not a ton different, but mm. it's it's a different vibe than Northern California. I'm from like I'm from Vacaville. Shout out Vacaville. It's uh it's like it's between Sacramento. It's like smack dab in the middle of Sacramento and like Oakland, okay, Berkeley, so San Francisco. Bay. Yeah, in the Bay Bay, yeah. It's like forty minutes north of the Bay. Yeah, we call it the Bay because we want to feel cool. Yeah, but it's like it's a little bit of ways. Yeah, it's like twenty minutes north of Vallejo, a little bit north of Fairfield. Um, yeah, but we still good. All right, that's dope, man. Um, so what what was what was childhood like, man? Like coming up as a kid. Uh, it was a military kid, moved around a lot, Mm -hmm. um, every, I think six years, the longest that we stayed in a spot. What brand? Air Force. Okay. Yeah. Your your dad was in? Both my parents. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Did they retire? Yeah. Yeah. They're still, they're still doing like contract work. Mm -hmm. So they're still connected in a way, but yeah, they retired yeah. Yeah. So moved around a lot. Um yeah, yeah, Colorado. I was born at the Air Force Academy. Colorado, San Jose, California, Virginia, Germany. Back to Colorado. Back mm-hmm. to California. And then I was in California from like oh seven to last year. So I was there for that was a long time. You there for a anyway. minute. Yeah, yeah, you there for a minute. Yeah. That's 17 years. Yeah. Damn. So yeah, you you were you a Californian for real. Yeah. Had a I, was, kid. I lived uh I've lived Santa Cruz, uh worked in San Jose for a minute, lived in Fairfield for a minute, lived up north in like Grass Valley for a minute. Mm-hmm. Vacaville's the spot I've lived at the most, but yeah, up and down Northern California. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, what, what would you say? You were ex Marines, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. I was in the Marines for eleven years. Yep, yep. Thank you for your service. Appreciate it, man. Tell yeah. your parents thank you for their service. For sure. Um, thank you. But yeah, man. Um, you uh, you maneuvered and became this artist, and I found a love for being, you know, a drummer in in, in church, right? And um, now you here. What what do you feel like are some of the things that got you here? Like our our relationship that you created is the reason where you are right now. Or do you feel that way? I think yeah. I I wouldn't. I I don't know if you could separate your. I th- I don't think a lot of people could separate like their love of music from like a. Re- other people in their life because it's not something a lot of music you don't get connected to not not entirely but i feel like the music we connect to most is because you connected with it with other people so like i some of the most influential people like like my roommate paul um my parents uh just like their music taste my brother and sister have different type of taste uh my aunt pretty influential in my music taste uh yeah uh as far as like career goes Mm um i i think i like to i like to hate on college a lot and i like to tell younger people they don't need to go to college, and maybe, especially if you're gonna try to be an artist, maybe don't go to college. But uh, why is that? I think for a while, it's it's my my opinion shifting on it. I I think for a while I felt like, uh, with the rise of like YouTube and realizing that I myself had to like learn things on YouTube, um, I figured out how to do things that uh, that some people told me I needed to go to school to learn yeah. and there are some things like that like tech mm. uh, 
But my opinion has shifted a little bit toward uh, I think college is pretty cool because you learn to uh, – you, you get deadlines. You have, like, a handful. You have a handful of, like, mentors. Um, I don't know if I feel this way just because, like, I've been missing college lately. Uh, but, yeah, my, my opinion is softening toward uh, – telling the younger generation not to go to school. It can be a complete waste of time for some people. Right. Like, I'm not I'm not a successful, like, I'm not making a ton of money being an artist. And, like, my not dad. Yet. Not, yet. not yet. My dad sent me to, to school with his, with his GI Bill. And, like, I, if I had to pay that myself, it would have been, like, a ton of money. Yeah. So... And that's a big reason why I tell people like, yo, like YouTube. <laughs> yeah. YouTube. But I did benefit from it. So and I'm learning that that it actually was like a decent So what 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 do you feel like was the benefits? Uh peers. Um I I met some awesome artists that I went to school with that I'm still in contact with. I've seen some really cool artists like grow and do their thing and seen a lot of artists a lot of people graduate and don't do anything with like what they what they learn but um what was the question my bad what like what what are some of the benefits from school benefits from school yeah. um teachers getting to know your teachers cuz they're in an art school you're going to get teachers that have been in the industry so, um, and like I said, the school I went to was uh, video games, um, film, music. So, yeah, just having somebody that's, like, been there and you get to see on a bi-daily, bi like, mm -hmm. multiple times a week, yeah. ask them questions. Yeah. So much different than YouTube. Uh, you get critique. Critique. Critique, critique, critique. That's huge. Uh, if you don't have anybody looking at your art, and you're just your your stuff's not gonna your stuff's gonna be way better if you have people like telling you like, "Yo, that sucks." Mm -hmm. I can tell you didn't really work that part on that part. Right. I've seen you do better on this other part. Yeah. That's like vital to like I think to any like artists. Uh, So now progress. You, so now you now you think that it's like a it's like a, a scale. Yeah. On good and bad or like yeah, good yeah. things to do in college and bad things. I feel terrible. I've told a couple of kids like don't go to school. <laughs> yeah. Thinking about that now I'm like, Ugh. yeah. Hopefully I mean they, they do they do have its perks, man. Um and it's not all good. Yeah, it's like not, I said, yeah. like you can go to college and waste your time. Right. You can and, screw over four years of your life and yeah. like not do with it yeah so it's i always possible. tell people like you know what i mean you you can go but you gotta make sure what you're going for right because if not you, you're just gonna be wasting uh major after major after major you're gonna be bouncing around like a pinball yep. and then when it's finally time for you to decide it's like all right you you this amount of money in debt yep. and um and you're gonna work yeah at and, walmart or wherever wherever that's yeah, not gonna yeah. help you no offense but yeah. if you go to school for something and then you end up working somewhere else it's that wasn't the plan right and things change but like yeah yeah but yeah like i said man um i'm with you S some things don't you don't need to go to school for damn um, what do you think are the in the category of don't go to school um i would say uh don't go to school for the for for the name. Like the name of the school. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You got you got your your Oklahoma's, your, your Texas, you got all of this stuff, all the big name schools. Right. Yale. Yeah, Yale, uh, Harvard, uh, Brown, Col yeah. Columbia, you know what I mean? Like all of those big name schools, but depending on what you're trying to do, man, like it's it's not feasible. You know what I mean? And then you're stressing about the money. And um, 
you're not really enjoying it. And like I said on the last the last episode, like the most important part of college is the networking. The networking, the people that's in there in that at that school or in that area that you're doing and you're moving at moving around in, that's the most important part because those people re- build that relationship that I always say the relationship's worth more than money. It builds that. Right. But um a lot of the, the stuff that I don't like to add on to that, the, the big name schools, um, the TAs, teachers assistants, I can't stand them. Why? Because they, they think they're they think they're the teacher oh, and yeah. they think they're better than you and they're not gonna pretty much well, my experience. Yeah, no, I've, at I've, Mason, I've, I went to George Mason. I have a very specific person in Yeah, because they, they literally will act like I literally got a seventy one out of a class. And all I needed was a 73. And the teacher was never really there. It was more of it was more of the uh them doing all of the work. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, but you're not explaining it. Like you're explaining it like we're supposed to know how you do it. You're supposed to explain it Barney style, break it down to where all of us can understand it. Right. And they would never do it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, man. Um the TAs. What did um, you go to school for? Marketing. Cool. Yep. Went where to school. I- George Mason, sure. yeah, right up the street. Yeah. Um, I started at Nova, uh, Nova, uh, North Northern Virginia Community College, and I wanted to do accounting, but that's what my dad did. Then I was just like, nah, that's too much math. And I love math, mm-hmm. but at Nova, I'm just like, nah. Like, I'm just, I still want to get a business degree, so I went, I went for marketing or whatever. My um, sister's about to go to school for. She just graduated. Congrats. She, uh, she's about to go to college. Yeah, marketing. For, for marketing, it's dope, man. It's dope because I think marketing, to me, marketing is is one of the most valuable pieces to have in whatever you do in life. It don't have to be music. It don't have to be uh, uh, entrepreneurship. If you know how to market yourself or market somebody else's brand, it's going to take off and it's going to and, and people going to listen because you study. You study the market. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Is you're studying the market. And if you're doing digital marketing, you studying the social media. You you studying all of these different platforms. And you're analyzing what works, what don't work. What what should you put in front of something if you're doing product placement, doing right. promotions? Like it's a lot, man. And it's, and marketing is huge, man. Like yeah. I think. To, in order for your business to run smoothly, you need a, a hell of a marketing team to get it. And um, yeah, so marketing marketing has been dope. And I'm I'm two classes away. I took like a year and a half, two years off. So I'm about to finish it up. You know what I mean? So I can get the get the degree because I never like starting something and not finishing. You know what I'm saying? I'm two classes away. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So did you stop at two classes, or have you been like, did you stop? At a certain time, and then you've been kind of like working. Well, the pandemic messed it all up, man. Gotcha. I was literally I was supposed to graduate twenty 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 two. That was that was from Nova. I I I, I finished Nova, but twenty twenty two I was supposed to graduate, and um, tw- like it just it threw everything off, man. Like I mean, my grandma passed away in between all of that crap. Like mentally, I wasn't. I wasn't there. And um, so, yeah, I can go back. I just, you know what I mean? Them loans. Loans kick in. After that after that GI bill run out, them loans kick in, man. So it's not it's not a lot, though. So I can I can manage that and take care of it. So, yeah, I just want to do it. And plus, my daughters, man, they they in middle school and elementary now. So it's like, I'm not about to, I don't, I don't even tell them to quit anything. So I'm not about to show them, like, oh, shit, I ain't going to college because you... You ain't even finished college, you know what I mean? And yep. then, you know what I mean? That's cause that's how I was, man. But my both my parents both got master got master's degrees. So it's like I can't not finish school, you know what I'm saying? So gotcha. um but yeah, so it's 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 definitely pros and cons to it. But me what? personally, I would have I would have I would have stuck with music and not went to college if I knew because I started ma- making beats while I was in the Marines. Gotcha. And you know what I mean? Before I even started going to college while I was in the military, I was still, I was working on music because I'm like, oh, shit, you can make beats off a computer? 
yeah, well, this is crazy. Like, yeah. all right, bet. Yeah. So I was working my way up, you know what I mean, going from that to that machine to, you know what I mean, from the original machine that to That was the, your first the machine? No, the, no, the first one, yeah. Damn. The, the MK1. I had Damn. the MK1. I remember when I had, that came out. I got, I got the MPK over there, Mini. That was like my first setups. I had bought, um... That was like 2010? Yeah. 2011? Yeah, I bought, I, I got my first MacBook 09, you know what Which I'm saying? saying? And, uh, 20, let's see, 2005, 2006, when I got back from Iraq the first time, I got a, a Phantom X6, so that was my first standalone keyboard. Is I that like, like a, it's a station too? Yeah. Like can, yeah, yeah. Yep. There's like yep. a computer in it. Yep. So it had like these big like chip sound cards you can put in the back. And yeah. Just, just make make your beats and everything. And, and this was on megabytes. So this crazy. Like, you know what I mean? I'm right. making beats off megabytes. Now we gigs. You know what I'm saying? So uh yeah. Yeah, man, it was it was definitely a, a thing that I was like, man, I wish I just would have stuck with the, the music and still play sports in high school because this definitely would have pushed me further. But at the same time, YouTube helped me a lot. So, you know what I mean? I don't knock it. And I still keep going because I'm like, hey, the younger the younger uh, producers are dope. And I'm learning from them and they're learning from me. And and when I go to these different showcases, they hear my music. And they, you know what I mean? It it makes me understand and feel like, yep, I'm still, I'm still doing it right. I'm path. doing something right. I'm on the right path. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's like, I've been through all those failures, you know what I mean? And beats were trash, mixes were trash, and um, but going to those showcases helped me. So I always tell people, man, like if it's something you really want to do, stick with it, but also have something to financially back it. You know what I mean? Don't just be a bum and just be making music without no money coming in, because then it's like it's not a it's not smart. Man, it's not smart at all. You hustling backwards. Right. You know what I mean? And if you always want to hustle forward. So right. yeah, man. That's that's my my spill on it. But sure. um we got um matter of fact, what's your top five music genres? Genres. Yeah. Cause I ain't gonna say artists. Yeah, yeah. I'm say genre. Um that's tough. I almost want to break it down by like producer. Um, okay, we can do producer there. I like genres is actually a lot easier because okay. I can fit like yeah, you can fit everybody. Many artists. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, I had a huge like ah, it's so tough. There's like three rock genres that I really like. Yeah. Uh I like indie, like the what is it? Like early two thousands indie rock. Mm-hmm. Um like uh Strokes, uh Kings of Leon. Uh Kings of Leon, definitely dope. Uh they're so good. Yeah. Uh Block party. Um, anyway, uh, indie rock of like late 90s, early 2000s. Um, the EDM scene, like right as like dubstep and like EDM, like between when Black Eyed Peas started doing EDM mm-hmm. and like 20. 16 mm-hmm. like the festival yeah big the EDC yeah, yeah the electronic dance stuff like like the biggest shows I've been to have been LA shows that were that and that's just like ingrained in my head and yeah. a lot of my music comes out dancey and kind of like festival ish mm-hmm. um two um 90s ish hip hop like uh Lauren Hill uh mm, 
there's too many like hip hop genres. Yeah. Uh, I might have to go artists on that one, but uh, or producers. I could do hip hop producers for sure. Um, I've been so really indie into rock. Like, Indie rock, uh, EDM. EDM and 90s hip-hop. 90s hip-hop. Uh, I've been listening to, I think I've listened to more Afrobeat than I've listened to, like, any other genre over the past, like, three years. Mm-hmm. Um, the Beyonce Lion King album was, like, my first, like, kind of view of it. And yeah. I, I loved that. I, I've yeah. listened to that album so many times. I don't know if I could do a fifth. I feel like I'll leave some stuff out. But, yeah. I had a post-heart, like, screamo phase I've lived mm-hmm. with, like, I've lived in a lot of white neighborhoods. Yeah. I don't know if you could tell. Uh, that's Cali to me. You dress like you from Cali. I, that's sure. what I just know for sure. Like, that's that's the way they, they dress. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, like the yeah <laughs> hair in your face. <laughs> The emo joint, yeah, yeah, I was pretty heavy, heavily into that for a minute. Uh, yeah, I think I'll I'll leave it at those four. Okay, yeah, all right. All right. So, um, let's leave leave the the relative something. Um, I always do this thing called gym. Uh, you know, you leave a gym gym class. Uh, you gotta leave some gyms or one gym. To the, to the public, you know what I mean, that can help somebody that's like you, that's a creative, that's creating their own instruments or creating whatever, video games, whatever there is, that is for them that they love to do. What's a gym you would leave with somebody? Uh, one I've, I've always been kind of like excited to tell people about if I ever got to like talk about the story of the guitar is that I, I sketched the idea for the guitar before I went to school, before I learned how to 3D model, um, mm. and it was in a sketchbook, and I keep all my sketchbooks. Yeah. And I opened it up one day after I had learned all these skills, mm. and I was like, I'm going to 3D model that. And then from me 3D modeling that, turned into, I need to build that. And then, so, um, yeah, keep, keep your old material. Keep looking at your old material, even if you did it when you were, like, a kid. Um, like old beats like don't i wouldn't delete yep. if you can keep it mm-hmm. um if it doesn't take up too much space if you can digitize your stuff um just don't throw away old material that you've created if you're an artist and um i heard i heard journaling's really useful for people trying to like psychoanalyze themselves so they can see they can like see pictures of themselves in the past yeah and like record and go back I would, I would say, record things that you do, and keep them, keep them. Don't delete them. Okay. Uh, yeah. So pretty much keep 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 being an artist and don't throw away anything. You say it like that. I mean, you should like let go of some stuff, but but I the think, art. Don't throw yeah, away yeah. the art. Don't throw away the art. Yeah. Yeah. If if you spent time on it and um, it might not seem like anything when you do it, I mean we've all heard that like a lot of people mm-hmm. produce a song in twenty minutes that ends up being like the best thing they've ever made. Right. And meanwhile, they've been slaving away at other tracks mm-hmm. for like years. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, don't keep all your stuff. Uh. Yeah. Keep all your art. All right, cool. Sure. Well, man, um, my name is Tweezy. To the right of me, my boy uh, Lou Ye. Um, sir. Thank you for coming, man. I appreciate it, Thanks man. I hope me. this inspire all, some more creatives. You know what I'm saying? Because we've been we've been talking for a long time, man. I've been trying to figure out a time to get you on here, set yeah. up, you know, the logistics and everything. And I was like, you know what? Let me just do it in the studio. Sure. You know what I mean? Instead of just doing it out there or um at crescendo. But um yeah, man, appreciate cool it. Setup. I dig the I dig the studio. I appreciate it, man. And uh we definitely gonna work. And uh like I always say, yeah. relationships worth more than money.
Amen. This is. Damn. Oh, deuces. Shout out to my bro, Big John, man. Rare love. Rare love. This is the end of this episode, by the way. Not the end, because this shit going to go forever. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. <laughs>